Now, this video comes courtesy of your boy Tom Segura. I saw this on his Instagram, and I had to share it with you. So this is a professional boxer who is having uh, promoting a big fight he's having. And um, this I'm trying to break this down for you guys because it's so... It's so wild. Okay, let me show you the video. So he's on a daytime television show, and some mascot comes out dressed in a burrito. <laughs> and um, I think he was meant to punch him in the stomach, because you can see the host being like, hit him right here, hit him right here. Mm -hmm. And this boxer, this is a boxer, a world-class fighter. <laughs> he punches this fucking guy in the face as hard as he can, dude. And you could tell, that burrito, <laughs> that tortilla padding just isn't enough. <laughs> so let's see. Who's usually inside those two? It's probably not like just a guy. Not someone who can take a punch. <laughs> so apparently something flew off him too. <laughs> oh my god! And so apparently he broke this poor son of bitch's jaw, and you see him writhing around in pain, and everyone's kind of clowning on him. Oh but he, god. you see, he's like trying to touch, like yeah. He's like, dude, I'm not okay. Like, no, and everyone's clowning serious. on him. <laughs> Here you go. One more time. He goes right in the stomach. Uno. In the fucking face. <laughs> oh, that poor son of a bitch. <laughs> he didn't ex Oh, that poor son of a gun. So I just love that. I you see the host? He, he does pat the stomach and then last minute yeah. he kind of. Yeah. He, I think it's his fault, really. The host? Well, I don't know if anyone speaks Spanish. Maybe he was like, punch him here. Definitely don't punch him here. Uh, oh, maybe, yeah. maybe. <laughs> he just decked that poor guy. He probably had, like, padding, like, extra padding in the stomach. You and think? nothing in the oh, face. Oh, my God. Except for this thin little tortilla <laughs> layer. <laughs> so apparently he broke his jaw, and this guy said on Twitter, I don't know, it sounds ironic, his apology, because it kind of gave me a giggle. He said, I sincerely apologize to the brave man that was injured. I have the utmost respect for him. His parti He's talking about the guy in the burrito suit. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for the burrito boy. Uh, his participation, willingness, and courage, he says. <laughs> true hero. If this is true, I would personally like to invite him to my December 1st fight. Are you, are you trying to give this guy flashbacks? <laughs> Does he have to wear his burrito costume? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh I, I just it had me uh, in stitches, frankly. <laughs> uh, he he tossed the he he beat the salsa right out of the burrito. <laughs> Not a Mexican joke, a burrito joke. Let's be clear. I've got way more class and integrity to make race-related jokes about because they put salsa in burritos mm -hmm. as well as rice and beans and stuff like that. I thought that was Not clear. A <laughs> Do I need to make an apology? <laughs> Um, here's another good one. Shannon, your pizza is here. Okay. This is just a goofy video. We're just getting started here. We're lubing it up. We're lighting it up. You know what I'm saying? So this person decided to order a pizza, and they put a sign on the door that said, Scream, Shannon, your pizza is here. Do not ring the doorbell or knock. Our grandma is sleeping upstairs. You know, I have to say, what do you think about somebody leaving a sign on a door for a pizza delivery guy to scream Shannon your pizza's here? No one would actually do that. Yeah, it's a kind of it's asking a lot of a pizza guy. Scream. Most people will probably not even read the letter. You I'm not about right? asking someone to scream. A scream. <laughs> like I'm not screaming. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this guy, he he receives the note. <laughs> And he reciprocates. So what did the note say again? It said, scream, please scream Shannon your pizza's here because my grandma is sleeping and the doorbell will wake my nana up. <laughs> so let's see how this uh, brilliant mind reacts to that. And look <laughs> at this guy strutting up like a thousand pizza. Like, he, this guy's a pizza god if I've ever seen one. He assesses the situation. <laughs> he strolls up with the confidence of a thousand fupas, a thousand pies. I feel like there's no sound. Yeah. There's no sound. Oh, well, that's pretty critical. <laughs> Do you have. I, oh, yeah, I got it. I fixed it. Oh, Ethan. <laughs> Let's try it again. Here we go. There we go. So, Foopish Maximus approaches the door with pizza in hand. 
the cr the crows are cawing in anticipation <laughs> of what's to come. And then she opens the door and he screams in her face, too. Now, I, what I'm wondering is because asking a pizza boy to shout, I wonder if this was his way of being like, fuck you for making me shout. It's a little bit of rebellion. Yeah. I don't Malicious know. compliance. Well, it's first called. of all, you know Nana woke the fuck up from that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And second of all, she opens the door and he continues to scream in her face, so... You know what I mean? It's just so weird. Like, I wonder if it was a revenge, because who- This guy really sees the opportunity. <laughs> you know? I love that the crows are kind. <laughs> I don't think I've ever screamed like that. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's like he took a full breath. Maybe this guy, who's so passionate about pizza, understands. He's like, they might be in the backyard, they might be in the attic, they might be far- I need these people to know that I'm here. He's so dedicated to it. This guy's a legend. Like, you read it exactly. They've got some Mr. Pib in the bag, so that's- These are people that respect pizza and soda. Because you don't order Mr. Pib unless you're deep in it. What is that? It's a off-brown Dr. Pepper. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's laughing at least. I want more. I want I want more. I want a reality show that follows this guy delivering pizzas. Foopish Maximus. Pitch that to TLC. Oh my god. TLC would pick that up, wouldn't they? The Screaming Pizza Man. Tonight on TLC.